Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be introducing the topic of numerical differentiation. We'll talk about what numerical differentiation is, why we need to learn about it, and begin talking about ways in which it works. Differentiation is a fundamental concept in calculus that helps us analyze the rate at which a function changes as an essential tool in various scientific and engineering fields. But what if we encounter a function that is too complex, impossible to solve analytically, or we're just given a set of discrete data points and we need to find the rate of change at some point? These are a few of the scenarios where numerical differentiation comes to the rescue. Numerical differentiation allows us to approximate the derivative of a function using the numerical methods that we've been learning throughout this course. Essentially, we'll be using the power of computers and algorithms to estimate derivatives. There are several methods in which numerical differentiation can be implemented. However, the most common, and the one we will primarily focus on, is the finite difference approximations, which will be the focus of our next few videos. Although we'll go into more details in the coming videos, Essentially, they discretize the continuous domain into a set of discrete data points and replace derivatives with finite difference approximations. This involves approximating the derivative at a point by considering function values of nearby points. Common types include forward, backwards, and central difference methods. Finite difference methods are used to solve a range of problems, including ordinary and partial differential equations. In many different science and financial fields, like fluid dynamics and computational finance. They provide a computationally efficient approach for solving continuous problems, numerically. Although these methods are extremely useful, there are some things we should keep in mind as we move through numerical differentiation. Such as, what happens if we have a noisy signal or data set? Well, as you can imagine, it would be incredibly unreliable to try and determine the rate of change at a point of interest if every step we take along our function could change drastically. Therefore, there are many methods you can use to help smooth out the data, such that the sharp changes are less of an issue. An example of this is the savitsky gole filtering function, which is a method that involves fitting a polynomial function to a small window of neighboring data points, and then we use this developed polynomial to estimate the smoothed differentiated values. In the coming videos, we'll walk through theory and examples behind numerical differentiation, so stay tuned for that. I hope that this video helped your understanding for understanding an introduction to numerical differentiation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns. 